Let's evaluate these five limits involving the natural log. Most of these will require us to use L'Hopital's rule, but we'll have to be careful and make sure the limit is in an indeterminate form for the rule to apply. Let's begin with the limit of the natural log of x divided by x minus 1 as x approaches 1. Plugging in x equals 1 to check the form of this limit, we get the natural log of 1 divided by 1 minus 1. The natural log of 1, of course, is 0, because we must raise e to the power of 0 to get 1, and 1 minus 1 in the denominator is also 0, so this is in an indeterminate form, and we can apply L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule tells us that to evaluate this limit of a quotient of functions, we can look at the limit of the quotient of the derivatives of the functions. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, and the derivative of x minus 1 is 1. So we arrive at this limit, 1 over x, the derivative of natural log, divided by 1, the derivative of x minus 1. 1 over x divided by 1, of course, is the same as 1 over x, and at this point, we can evaluate the limit directly by substitution. Plugging in x equals 1, we find the limit is equal to 1. Next, the limit of the natural log of x divided by x minus 1 as x goes to infinity. Again, what happens as x goes to infinity? We need to check the form of this limit. Well, the natural log of x, as x goes to infinity, itself tends towards infinity. And of course, x minus 1, as x goes to infinity, also goes to infinity. So this is in the indeterminate form, infinity over infinity, and L'Hopital's rule applies. Again, we'll take the derivatives of the numerator and the denominator, which are the same as in the previous problem, namely 1 over x and 1. So we arrive at this limit. Again, 1 over x divided by 1 is 1 over x. And the limit of 1 over x as x goes to infinity, of course, is 0. The numerator is just fixed at 1, while the denominator gets arbitrarily large. Next, we're evaluating the limit of the natural log of x divided by the square root of x as x goes to infinity. Again, as x tends towards infinity, both the numerator ln x and the denominator square root of x tend towards infinity as well. So this is in an indeterminate form. We can apply L'Hopital's rule and differentiate the numerator and denominator. Of course, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. The derivative of the square root of x is most easily found by rewriting the square root of x as x to the 1 half and then applying the power rule. Applying the power rule to x to the 1 half, we arrive at this as the derivative, 1 half times x to the negative half. Of course, in the numerator is 1 over x, and so this is our new limit expression. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. With 1 over x in the numerator, we can put this x down in the denominator. And in the denominator, we have x to the negative half, which we can move to the numerator by making the exponent positive. We also have 1 half in the denominator, which can be moved to the numerator as simply a factor of 2. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by 2. Doing that rewriting, we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 2x to the 1 half divided by x. Now we can simplify the exponents. In the denominator, we have x to the 1, and in the numerator, we have x to the half. So subtracting those exponents down to the denominator, we're left with 2 divided by x to the 1 half as x goes to infinity. This is in fact much like the previous problem. The numerator is just a fixed number, in this case 2, while the denominator is getting arbitrarily large. x to the 1 half is just the square root of x, and as x goes to infinity, that certainly does as well. So this limit is equal to 0. It's 2 divided by a number getting arbitrarily large. Next, the limit of the natural log of x as x approaches 0 from the right. Again, let's consider what's happening here as x approaches 0 from the right and make sure that we have an indeterminate form before applying L'Hopital's rule. The natural log of x as x approaches 0 from the right Hopefully you can easily recall from the graph of ln x, which looks like this, it's going to negative infinity as we approach 0 from the right. So the numerator is going to negative infinity. Of course, the denominator is not. As x approaches 0 from the right, 
x approaches zero. So this is not in an indeterminate form that would allow us to apply L'Hopital's rule. In fact, we can already evaluate this limit having this information. Since the numerator is approaching negative infinity, while the denominator is approaching zero, the whole thing is certainly approaching negative infinity. This is because the numerator is becoming very large and very negative, while the denominator remains positive while becoming very, very small. So in total, the quotient is going to go to negative infinity. Finally, last example, the limit of the natural log of the natural log of x divided by x as x goes to infinity. Again, let's check the form of this limit. As x goes to infinity, the natural log of x goes to infinity, and so the natural log of the natural log of x will also go to infinity. And of course, x goes to infinity as well. So this is in the indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. We can apply L'Hopital's rule and differentiate the numerator and denominator. The derivative of x, of course, is just 1. To differentiate the numerator, we'll have to use the chain rule. For the chain rule, we must differentiate the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. The derivative of a natural log function is 1 over the input. And so we see 1 over the input, where in this case, the input is the natural log of x. Then we must multiply by the derivative of that inside function that we didn't change. The derivative of the natural log of x, of course, is 1 over x. And so that is the application of the chain rule to find the derivative of this composite function. Now we can do some rewriting of this expression. Since the numerator has these two fractions, we can just move those denominators down to that denominator. And so we arrive at this, the limit of 1 over x times ln x, that's just those denominators moved down, 1 over x ln x as x goes to infinity. And this, of course, is going to go to 0, because the numerator is fixed, it's just 1, and the denominator is a product of two things, x and ln x, that are both going to infinity. So that's how to evaluate some simple natural log limits, mostly involving L'Hopital's rule, but be sure you're checking the form before you apply the rule. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.